Hey, what's up there moth fans? Today I'm going to show you something awesome. You're not going to believe it, but what you are currently looking at are hawk moth caterpillars. That's right, this is the ring of a Sphingidae. Now these guys, they came uh, to me from Africa, from uh, the country of Cameroon in fact. And in these countries they eat, uh, they are polyphagous on several species of Malvasea. Now sadly from this family there are not many plants in Europe, but there are a few. Uh, one such example is hibiscus, a uh, commonly uh, found garden plant, which is uh, used to decorate parks, gardens and hedgerows. Another one is lime tree, which is uh, tilia. In fact, there are many kinds of lime tree in Europe and on both of these uh, plants, Lophostatus dumolini, the aerosphinx, which is the species we are looking at today, can be raised successfully. Unfortunately, I ordered many, uh, many caterpillars and eggs, but only three survived the post. I guess that's the price you pay when you try to import exotic species all the way from Africa. However, the three surviving caterpillars did excellently well, and uh, some of them have even pupated. So some of you are going to answer, uh, ask me the question, Bart, when uh, can we expect to see the moth? Well, that's a really good question. If we're lucky, we're going to see it in a few months. If we have bad luck, it may take a year or more. Uh, that's because African species can lay dormant for very long times. Um, they need to do this in order to wait for the perfect timing to hatch from their cocoons and pupa. Uh, Africa has very long uh, dry seasons. And uh, during this time, it's not a good idea for a moth to hatch because uh, the drought will kill it fast. Plus there will be no uh, lesser leaves on the food plants. In the rainy season, plants uh, start growing more, uh, they become more nutritious, they grow young leaf, which is perfect for the caterpillars. Plus the humidity also uh, is more favorable for the insect, because the dry and harsh climate cuts off some days of the lifespan of these insects. So to um, let them hatch successfully in captivity, basically what you need to do is uh, make a dry season and then make a, a, a warmer and wetter rainy season which will motivate the moths to hatch in captivity. Now one thing you're going to notice is the morphology of this caterpillar. Uh, it has huge spines. Now this is very unusual for a hawk moth. Actually it's not. In the tropics there are several species of hawk moths that have big spines and appendages on their body. It's just that they are rarely seen in captivity. And it's just that in the north of Europe, for example, uh, well, northern, western Europe, but also America and Russia, uh, in the Palearctic, there are not such species. So people who have never been in the tropics before and uh, taken a closer look at some of the hog moth caterpillars you can find here, well, they're going to be very surprised to learn that some, uh, some hog moth caterpillars can be this big and have such huge spines on their body, but it's true. So, uh, anyways, this is what I wanted to share with you today. They're absolutely incredible uh, animals, really impressive. Uh, I'm a little bit sad I could only raise three of them. I really hope that I could try again in the future, but for that I need a bigger load of eggs. So, if anyone is breeding these guys and you see this video, contact me for some eggs, because they seem to be very easy to raise in captivity and they are one of the most beautiful hog moths I raised so far and one of the biggest. So I would really love to raise like 50 of these guys and make a nice video out of it. Uh, sadly I have too few to film a whole life cycle of them, but I think we can still appreciate the caterpillar for what it is. Something really impressive. Caterpillarzilla everyone. Thank you for watching. This was a nice video for the hog moth lovers out there, because uh, we've had too much attention for the silk moths, they are my favorites. I'm sorry for making so many silk moth videos. I'm going to try to uh, add some variety to my channel next year. Thanks and goodbye.